retailers have a great opportunity because they are tend to be really in touch with their consumers and their markets and can, can act pretty quickly. So if they want to implement something new, they're not dealing maybe with how do I put this into you know, a thousand stores or two thousand stores. They're talking about you know this store and then maybe the next store. So it's a nice it's a nice proving ground and learning ground for. Um, for retailers and I think for, for digital signage in general. It's because if the consumer is not watching and enjoying and or valuing the content, then ultimately it's not going to be good for anyone. So we just really work hard to communicate that and, and have that sort of top of mind for everyone. That it's consumer experience first because again, if they don't watch it, it there, there's no value to either who's providing the signage or who's providing the content. So it's really just making sure that this is going to be effective. And that's what, you know, that's what that comment was about. We want to make sure it's going to be effective. And effective means a good experience. Mm -hmm. And a good experience for a consumer usually means a good experience for everybody else that's involved in the, in the, in the ecosystem as well. Well, I think so there's a lot of things you can do, and it depends on your environment. I mean, you certainly talk to people. You get feedback. You can try things. The great thing about digital signage is you can change it very rapidly, and you can show different things. And you can you can observe people. You can see if they're watching it. You can see if they look annoyed. You can see if they're reaching for the product that you're that you're trying to highlight. You can ask them uh, the effect. You need to be mindful of your employees too because they're in that environment all day. And the communication that you're able to do through digital signage can be equally as important for your employees as for your consumers because it helps educate them so they can answer questions maybe later for consumers. And it's the um, you know it's really the experience that you're trying to, I think, evaluate. And you do that through observing, asking, listening, and uh, sometimes you can do measuring too if there were specific actions you wanted the consumer to take, like did they move to the next aisle or did they pick it up and purchase it.